Hey folks, it's me, Les Swordfighter, broadcasting live from the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I'm currently on my way to, me on my way, my way up into Pennsylvania for a neat little steam ride excursion with Mr. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Gonna get to see a little uh, Civil War reenactment. Along the route, I'll try to post pictures and video of the surrounding views. Until then, I'm signing off. Well, here I am in New Freedom, Pennsylvania. About to get going. You can hear the steam engine in the background firing itself up. It's gonna be a good ride. There we go, that's a little bit better. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Teresa, and I will be your narrator today. I will be moving throughout both coach cars throughout the duration of this ride. So if you have any questions, please feel free to wave me down. I'll be more than willing to answer any questions that you may have. As we get going, a little bit of history to start us off. These rails were built in the year of 1828 by Irish immigrants from Baltimore. It was chartered as the Baltimore and Susquehanna Railroad. It later became the Northern Central Railway. The locals in this area profited very early on from this business. They would sell their lumber to these Irishmen and make quite a bit of money. Unfortunately, though, they had an iffy relationship with these Irishmen. They were more than happy to see them return back to Baltimore. We are starting our trip in New Freedom, Pennsylvania. New Freedom, Pennsylvania was originally known as the Summit. It is the highest point along these rails between Baltimore and New York. It rests at 802 feet above sea level. During the Civil War, as many as five helper engines were needed to push our steam engine up New Freedom Hill. Four crews resided in New Freedom at all times just to maintain these helper engines. Upon entering the town of New Freedom, our Union soldiers would be forced to exit the train and walk up New Freedom Hill themselves. As we go throughout our ride, I'm going to be pointing out some important buildings to you. I'm going to be referring them to north, south, east, and west. We are right now heading directly north. The train itself is facing south. Out to my right is the west. And out to my left is the east. left in the United States today following these plans. The other one is located in Moncton, Maryland. Whistle. This is a signal that we are one fourth mile away from the next intersection, 
and for our engineer to blow the whistle. We do have flaggers that stop traffic at every intersection, but back in 1863, there was absolutely no stopping. This whistle was a warning for the local farmers to remove their livestock and their children from the rails before our steam engine would come barreling through. You may notice that our whistle does have a pattern. When we see one of those white whistle signs, we're going to blow one short whistle. When we come up to an intersection, we're going to blow two long whistles, followed by a third short whistle, followed by a fourth and final long whistle. You notice we are following alongside the Cadoras Creek. We will be following the Cadoras Creek all the way to Hanover Junction.
wildlife, all in one neat little package. Taking a uh, plenty of pictures right now, man. That's whoa. Tunnel.
Dad, check out the neat old footbridge. Yeah. You are going to see that general store out to the west in just a moment. One of his men, a man named Nathan Revere, no other than the grandson of our great Paul Revere, if he knew how to operate a steam engine. And of course he said, yes sir, I can. And so when they stopped right here at Glen Rock Station, and the engineer and conductor exited for supplies, Nathan Revere took over at the helm of this train, taking it all the way to Baltimore. It is said he made excellent time. Unfortunately, our criminal does not survive the war and later dies in the second battle of Bull Run. That Massachusetts infantry was riding through this area on their way to Washington, D.C. under the commands of our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, who had ordered troops there to protect the White House. Welcome to Hanover Junction. Sure. Sure. 